Well, I like YouTube, and I've been on there about four years, and um, I'd say I'm a little pissed off at a couple of their policies. One of which is the recent thing that says uh, that you have too many subscriptions compared to your number of subscribers. This is not necessarily a channel I'd be interested in subscribing on, but uh, should you click the subscribe button, you're stuck with this stupid message that says you have too many subscriptions compared to your number of subscribers. God, that sucks. You know, I I don't feel I should be limited. I feel I should have as many subscriptions as I want, and I can look at as many channels that I want and follow as many people's videos that I want. So this is something that's just, it's, it's, it's driving me nuts, and I've been trying to find a good solution to wipe out some of these um, subscriptions that I have. Fortunately, there's no real good way to do this. One of the reasons for this is, is YouTube limits you to the number of subscribers and subscriptions that you see. And uh, this is really stupid. You see, this is my subscriptions page, and currently I have 9,000 611. And looking up at the top, you can see we're starting at subscription number 1004. And you're allowed 25 on one page. So I can go through these and one by one, I can click on the individual um, click on the individual person and click remove. Now, that's a very tedious process, especially if I want to remove 9600 of them. So I'm not about to go through all that. Uh, the next thing is, as I said, you're limited to 1004. So if I were to click the next button down here, you'll see the screen will refresh and you see exactly the same subscribers. And that number does not advance. So you're limited to 1004 um, subscriptions to be viewed, or subscribers for that matter. You're limited to the same amount, 1004, and it will not go above that amount. Now, I've experimented a little bit with the, uh, Google's YouTube um, API and use the PHP version of it. I log into it and uh, make some changes on the fly with some scripts that I've written, and uh, I found an easy way to delete some of these. But still, I'm limited to creating two lists. I have to create two databases, if you will, two arrays of uh, subscribers and subscriptions. And then using these two arrays, I have to compare them to each other, and if that name does not exist in both the subscribers and the subscriptions, that it needs to be deleted from my subscriptions. So, what did I do to create a list of subscribers that I had? So I can see the full amount of uh, 2,612 subscribers? Well, what I did was I opened up my email application, because I'm notorious for not throwing away any of my emails, and um, I clicked in up in my my Thunderbird, I clicked a, a search option of has subscribed, and I've got all my subscribers in here since way back when. Scrolling back here, I can see my very, very first subscriber, which was on 421 of 2009, which happens to be my good buddy, Dean Lyman. So you might want to check out his, uh, his channel. He's got a lot of neat go-kart uh, videos and stuff. And he's been a good friend of mine since the very, very beginning when I first started putting stuff up here on YouTube. So check him out, you guys. Subscribe. But anyway, since I have a copy of all these emails, you can see I have a list of everybody's names. Everybody that has ever subscribed to me. Now, it doesn't necessarily show the people that have unsubscribed to me. If they've unsubscribed to me, we'll deal with them differently. But because I've, uh, according to my statistics, I've only lost something like 40 or 50 subscribers in the last four years, I'm not too worried about those people. We'll deal with them in a separate me method. But what I did was I ran a script a bash script on my email server and I parsed out each one of these usernames and I created a list. And this is a really clever bash one-liner. Simply what I'm doing is I'm grepping for subscribe to you from inside of my mail directory and then we're going to shoot it out and we're going to filter out some of the HTML characters that are in there. We're going to sort them and we're going to spit out the names. So if I do that, it's going to take a moment to process and blammo. There's every single name that I've got, anybody that's ever subscribed to me. Now, I've catted that out to a file, and I've dumped that file into a PHP script, which created it into an array. Now, you say, okay, well, why didn't you just do it from raw PHP? Well, I could have, but I wanted to see how many names that I've gotten. And once I created a plain text list, I just dumped that text list directly into PHP using a simple uh, F open. No big deal. So anyway, I've got a list. And just for shifting grins, 
let's see, the exact number of subscribers that I've ever had since the very, very beginning. Processing. Now these are all in alphabetical order, but the most subscribers that I've ever had since the very, very beginning is, and it won't focus, 2,638. So, I currently have 2612. So truthfully, I've only lost about 26 subs since I've had people subscribing to me since the very, very beginning. So, that's everybody. Everybody completely, all the way up to date. So we got them all right there. Now, now that I have that list created, the second thing that I had to do was I had to get the list of these people. Now, I don't have a log of everybody that I've ever clicked subscribe on, and I don't have a list of everybody that I've ever clicked um, subscribe to their friends or to their, their box. Uh, I don't know, you know, and that's just something that I've always done that was honorable, which is why I have four times as many subscriptions as I have subscribers. So I need to dump those people, because those people haven't done anything for me. So we're going to ditch them. So what I did was I wrote a script that compares this list to those people, but I can only check one of them, or uh, about a group of about 50 of them at a time, according to Google's stupid um, YouTube API, limits me to 50 queries at once. But we're going to parse 50 at a time, and that's the reason why it's not over 10,000. I've actually been running the script, I've tested it, and it works. So that's been working very, very well for me, but we're going to show a demonstration of the script. Yay, some of you might realize that I'm a Linux junkie. I don't run Windows on anything anymore. But I wrote this script in PHP. It parses the array of my subscriptions versus my subs, and it uses the Google API, uh, Google's YouTube API, to go ahead and function with it. So what it does is, first thing it does is it creates a list, and then it goes through all of my subscribers that are going to be kept because they subscribe to me, or they're going to be deleted, such as Karina. Goodbye! The people that are being deleted are the ones that are not subscribed to me. There it is. Done. Now what we do is we go back over to my subscriptions here. We look at that number. And then we refresh it. It would probably be about 25 lower than what it was before. That worked really, really well. We're going to hit it up again, and we're going to let this script run on autopilot, and we're going to let it loop. So that way it finishes deleting uh, anybody else that it can, and then we'll see what the resulting number is that's left over. Well, my subscription deleter is working. I've dropped about 2,000 subs since yesterday. Uh, I was formerly about 10,050, and uh, during the testing, I whacked off about uh, about 200 or so, and now I'm down about 2,000. And it's still continuing to tick away. It's still continuing to remove anybody. It's still keeping the ones that are important to me and deleting the rest. Now, I've started processing some of these a different route. What I actually did was I, I built a list of all the people that have ever commented on my videos and I've deleted anybody from my subscriptions that hasn't because those people I'm probably really not interested in looking at and if I am I'll be able to manually find their channel again and subscribe to it but uh, needless to say 2,000 subs later after about 24 hours of processing so it's going to continue to process probably for the rest of the week. It won't let me go too quickly. I discovered that if I start deleting these subs at uh, one second intervals, it'll knock me out at a, after about 100 of them. So I have to pass them about one every 30 seconds without beating up the server. So that's about 120 an hour. So you figure after uh, a whole day of running, although I had to test it and uh, stop it and test it a few times in between, you can get a lot of subs out of there. You could probably whack out about, uh, you know, three, 4,000 maybe if you don't have any problems along the way. But anyway, it's working. It's deleting them. Well, I'm remotely accessing my computer from work 48 hours later. And as you can see, we dropped subscriptions almost 4,000 in number. So it's been a significant drop in my subscriptions. My script is running really, really well and it's deleting everything that uh, I programmed it to do. It's also deleted a lot of uh, accounts that people have removed or have been uh, dropped for copyright infringement purposes, so those YouTube accounts have been deleted too. It's about 6.25 p.m. Central Time on October 20th, 2010. My subscriptions are still dropping. I'm at 5,777, but all of a sudden, 
The subscriptions and subscriber pages have suddenly started showing more than 24. And that's kind of a big deal, uh, showing 40 now. But it still will not let me progress past the last page. When I get to the last page and I try to move on, I'm still stuck with the same data over and over and over again. So if I go ahead and push next down here, the page refreshes with exactly the same content as before. It's given me 1,008 subscribers. Now it's given me 1,020. You know, big deal. Okay, I got an extra 12, but it certainly makes the uh, deletion of subs a lot easier. 40 of them are displayed on one page. So thanks to YouTube, we got a new feature.